Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is gonna be a fun cut crease look using the Jaclyn Hill palette, of course. So if you wanna see how I get this look, go ahead and watch my video. All right, and for eyes today, we're gonna go ahead and start off with primer, and we're gonna be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next, we're gonna take this rounded Morphe brush, and we're gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. We're gonna be using this white shade right here. We're just going to highlight the brow bone. Next we're going to go in with the Morphe M441. It's just a very fluffy crease brush. And then we're going to go into this brown shade right here. And we're just going to stamp this all over the lid. I'm going to go into the shimmer teal right here. And we're just going to use that as our... Um, transition shade. And the reason the shadow looks like this is it's because it is a shimmer, so don't get too worried about why it looks like garbage right now, as like going on. With the same brush, we're gonna go into this teal shade right here. I'm gonna apply it in the same area. Next we're going to go into this huge, chunky heart palette. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It doesn't have a name on it, but I got it around um, Christmas time. And I'm just going to use it for this dark blue shade right here. And the shade is called Antique. So I'm going to take a Morphe M433. It's just a smaller compact crease brush. I'm going to go in with Antique. And I'm going to put it the crease, but slightly below. Next, I'm going to take this very, very compact Tarte crease brush. And I'm going to go into this black shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to put it slightly under the crease. Next, we're going to go ahead and start to cut the crease. I'm going to take a Naked 2 Urban Decay palette brush and then the Tarte shape tape in the shade light sand and I'm just going to cut the crease. Alright now we're going to go back into the palette and we're going to use a rounded Morphe brush and we're going to go back into the white shade from earlier. We're just going to put it over, um, we're just going to put it on top of the concealer. Next we're going to take a rounded brush and go back into the black shade from earlier. I'm just going to lightly stamp it onto our outer corner. We're going to go back with the Morphe M433 and we're going to blend that black back in. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go on with the Smashbox Always On liquid liner. Now that the liner is done, we're going to go ahead and go in with lashes today. We're going to be going with the Eyelore Lux Silk Asher Lashes. Now that the lashes are on, we're going to go in with the Tarte Cosmetics Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and we're just going to go over both the lashes. For primer today, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Photo Finish Primerizer, and it has primer and moisturizer in it. My freaking eyebrows look more like second cousins than they do sisters today, guys. I'm just so over it. I haven't used this foundation in a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it today. It's the <laughs> it's the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in the shade Light Medium Neutral. And this is just a stick, so I'm just gonna put it all over my face. All right, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender from Real Techniques and just blend it out. Beauty Blender is just not as damp as I would like it to be. That's why I'm making that ugly face over here.
Does anybody else feel like damping or wetting your beauty blender is just one of the biggest chores of makeup? I just never want to get up and do it. This one, the reason why it's not as damp as I want it to be is because I didn't want to get up and um, wet it when I could just sit here and not wet it. Um, this isn't a very full coverage foundation, which is great because I'm not a full foundation kind of girl. But I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and take the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade Mink. I'm going to go ahead and conceal this up. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape that we used on the eyes earlier in the shade Light Sand. I'm going to be using a teeny tiny Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend this out. To make sure our eyes don't crease, we're going to go ahead and quickly go in with the Pixi Flawless Finishing Powder. We're going to take this Morphe Bullet Brush. I'm just going to... We're going to pat so we don't move the cream product. I'm going to go ahead and take this Angled It Cosmetics Blush Brush. And I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. We're going to take this little rounded um, oval brush and we're going to do the nose. We're going to take the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder, and it's in the yellow shade. Now we're going to go ahead and start doing the lower lash line. We're going to take the Morphe M441 and go back into this teal shade right here. And you're just going to put that all over the lower lid. We're going to take this um, Urban Decay Smoky Palette brush. And we're going to take this smudger brush on the bottom and we're going to go back into the black shade. We're going to take that right on the waterline. We go ahead and go back in with the Tarte Mascara and we're going to do our bottom lash line. And since the lower lash line is done, we're going to go ahead and take this um, super fluffy chic powder brush from It Cosmetics and we're going to just wipe away the powder. Since my foundation isn't very full coverage, I don't need a lot of blush, so I'm just going to go with the lightest shade that I have, and it's going to be the Lancome um, Blush Subtle in um, Rose for Us. I'm going to take this Morphe Angled Brush and lightly go in it. Like I said, I don't want that much pigment. For lips, I'm going to go in with the NARS Walk This Way Liquid Lip. I'm so sorry guys. I thought I was done with eyes, but I kind of want to be extra. I'm going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue and a rounded Morphe brush. I'm just going to put it at the inner corner. Now I'm going to take the Blitz Nail and Body Glitter in the shade Silver Lining. I got this from Sally's. And I'm just going to put the glitter at the inner corner of my eye. I'm so extra. It hurts. Alright, for some reason, I forgot highlighter today. I feel like that sometimes. I haven't used the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and use that today. I'm going to take a really fluffy Sephora packing brush, and I'm going to go into both the gold shades. I'm going to take this super fluffy rounded brush, and I'm going to go into both the highlight shades again. I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose. And then just a little part of the bridge. And I'm going to go in with both the highlight shades again and highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going to do my Cupid bow. Last, for setting spray, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. I'm 
Oof. All right, everybody, this is the final look. I'm loving it. Um, you know me, I'm loving this color recently is what I've said in every single video. Um, if you like my video and you like my channel, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. If you have any future looks that you would like to see, go ahead and leave a comment down below as well. And I'll see you guys next time.